Hi guys, welcome back to my drugstore makeup series. My first brand was Rimmel London, so I, I did two videos on that brand. If you haven't checked them out, go check it. So from today and the next few videos, I'm going to try out Physician's Formula. Finally, I got to try Physician's Formula. I don't know, I haven't tried any of their products before. I don't know why. Like their famous bronzer, I never tried. Where have I been? So today I have four things I want to try on camera. The first one is the primer. And then I have a super BB cream. Of course, I have a concealer and then a setting powder with all these panels. So if you're interested to see that, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing is a primer. I think this is super new since they have like this, this sticker says new. And this primer, it says prime and protect. It says blurs pores, fine lines, and imperfections, absorbs instantly, extends makeup wear, and breathable, non-greasy. So they, they have so many different things on this primer. We're going to test out right now. I don't like green. Oh my god, how do you open this? I don't like that kind of silicone-y primer where it slides like everywhere. I like that one that kind of absorbs in your skin and then it probably like a little tacky so the foundation can go on perfectly. I like that kind of primer. This is the package and this is like a funny looking package. And there is a hole so I guess you pump. I want to pump on my hand. Oh, it locks. Nice. So let's open. Oh, it's watery. Oh, I don't like this. Um, this feels funny. Oh, A greasy. It's greasy. It kind of absorbs. I have so many mixed feelings about this. If you're like me, you have oily skin, you will like hate the feeling of this. But it's like mattifying. So this is, I guess it's a mattifying primer. It has SPF 18. Okay. So this primer is 1329, but I feel like I'm rubbing oil, but it absorbs and it's not sticky. After the awkward feeling, now it feels okay like smooth not too bad now we are going to try the super bb cream all-in-one beauty balm cream and have like 10 plus beauty benefits moisturizing protecting firming priming plus filling and perfecting concealing brightening line softening long wear and has spf of 30 and this replaces moisturizer foundation and spf so yeah this is like a soup BB cream. All right, so we're going to test this out too. BB cream is usually has like a lightweight and... Oh, I hate this kind of packaging. And this looks nice. I have the color light medium. All-in-one beauty balm cream. Okay, I'm going to use a brush on one side of my face and then a sponge on the other side. Usually physicians formula, they only have like three or four shades. So light medium, this, this is my color. Seems kind of pink. Don't know. Okay. Let's just apply on the face. Oh, this is dark. This is dark. Okay, so I'm going to use the sponge from Tarte on the left side of my face and then brush on the right. Okay, let's bounce this. There's like no coverage. It didn't cover anything.
it says fragrance free, so it doesn't have any scent. That's good, but it's zero coverage, I feel. It's not like light coverage, it covers nothing. I can see everything on my face. I don't know, let's try the brush. Okay, the brush seems like a little bit more coverage, but still like, like nothing. I don't want the full coverage, but at least cover something, right? It, so far, it seems like cover nothing. First impression, I don't like this uh, BB cream. And I think from A Cosmetics that BB cream is so much better, or the CC cream is so much better, much more coverage, and feels nicer. It, this one just... Yeah, I don't like that one. So next we're going to try that concealer. Hopefully the concealer can conceal my spot, sunspot. All of these are from sunspot. So SPF is so important. Just use SPF. Don't end up like this. All of these are from sun. So yeah. Okay, so we're going to try this concealer. And this concealer has a lot of claims too. So this is the concealer. Usually the squeeze tube has more coverage. Usually it's that way. If it is, if it is liquidy, then usually it doesn't have that much coverage. So I choose the color Natural Light. Hopefully this is right for me. It covers blemishes, dark under eye circles, scars, birthmarks, age spots, bruises, and high pigmentation. It's one of this packaging again. Okay, so this is a little tube. For my understanding, if it covers birthmarks, covers blemishes, and covers hyperpigmentation, it doesn't work well for under eye. Because the under eye, if you kick them on, like, it will crease, like for sure. And any higher coverage concealer for my under eye, it would just crease. I think for most of the people because it is so easy to grab on anything that's thick. So let's try this. Hopefully it works. So it's a tube that's just squeeze out some product. And whoa, you see that? It's like a thick, thick, thick. I'm not going to drag down here because I know here is like super sensitive and we crease. So let's just cover here. And then I'm going to use the sponge to blend this. Seems okay. It brightening my under eye, but I don't think it covers anything. Maybe because I'm using this one. Let's switch to a brush. This is from Eco Tool. I've been using this one a lot. This is really good. And let's try to blend this side. Oh my god, it's hard to blend. Oh, it sets already. You see that? Oh, it doesn't blend anymore. I have to go back to this one. Um, the color is too light. Okay, let's try to spot conceal here. This might be too light. Oh, yeah. Conceal this. It covers nicely. So, yeah, but this is the wrong color. Conceal this one. Definitely blend this one with a beauty blender or a sponge that will give you much better results than the brush. A brush just doesn't want to blend. So, I'll try here. Just a brush. Since the BB cream didn't do anything, so I have to use a concealer. Kind of do this coverage thing. 
Okay, so from looking up close, like this area, it looks really nice. Like, it's not drying and it conceals and brightening. It's a much better finish than the BB cream for sure. So yeah, I like this one much better than BB cream. So for the concealer, let's see the price. $10.49 for this tube. I think it's a reasonable price. Physician's formula, it tends to go higher in the price than most of the drugstore uh, makeup. That's how I felt like I picked up a few things. It's all more than $10. And for a drugstore, that's pretty expensive. It's just the wrong color for spot conceal. So yeah, now let's try this setting powder. I'm very interested in this one because since it has so many different colors, even that skin tones and sets makeup, all skin tones. So this is for all skin tones and it's translucent. So yeah, all right. Oh, so you open like this and then you can flip. There is a mirror you can use and then there is a buff. So this is the product. Let's just do a little, oh, like it smears. You cannot see the white anymore. All right. Yeah, it seems nice. It seems nice on the skin. It's translucent. All right, let's try on the face. Let's pick some product in here. And oh, wow, it blurs everything. Whoa, it's like your pore just disappeared. Hmm, wow, okay. I didn't see anything about long lasting. So I guess this is just a setting powder. It's really nice. Wow, I didn't expect this to be this good. It's like mattifying as well. Let's try the nose. Yeah, mattified too. Wow. Okay, let's try with a brush. See how the brush performs because I still want to set over here all of this. So let's just dip the brush in. And... Okay, so I don't know about the color correcting, but this is a beautiful finish of setting powder. I am really shocked and surprised. It felt really nice. You know the way I always use from A Cosmetics is the Bye Bye Pore translucent powder. And this is like good, like almost better than that one. Wow. Okay. Okay. I love it. So that powder is $14.49. So for this powder with this performance, I no, I don't think it's expensive now. But still for a drugstore, I mean. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm going to finish my eye makeup and everything else. I'll be right back. Okay, I have finished the rest of my makeup. And I have to say, I'm still surprised by how well the setting powder was. Like, I didn't expect setting powder to be this good, but it did a really good job. As usual, I will list everything I use on my face down below. So if you're interested, just check in the description box and then you'll see everything. I think I'm going to go right now and then I will check back with you probably the end of the day. Um, right now it's 10.37 a.m. And yeah, I'm going to check back with you around 
seven thirty, something like that. So that's like nine hours later. So see how this powder, this um, I I I don't know if if I can see any BB creams left anymore, uh, since the concealer covers everything. So I'm going to check back with you after nine hours. See how everything holds up. All right, I will see you soon. Hi guys, so this is the end of the day. I think it's like 7.15 or 7.30 at night. And surprisingly, like I'm not that oily. It's shocking. I, don't, I think the primer did something, right? This is like a mattifying primer. So I definitely do think this primer works. Remember the first time I was applying it, I was like, eee, this feel like oily and but it absorbs like into the skin and then you have like matte finish and it lasts longer like so much longer than the regular like sometimes high-end primer mattifying primer it didn't do such a good job normally during the day like this area is just shining shining like mirror but oh my god like i'm not shining and it's weird, like this side is matter than this side. This side is just a little bit oily, but overall it's like worked. Wow. And then the powder, I can still see some powder here. Remember I set everything with this powder and then it still looks good. Like not that vibrant anymore, but it still looks good. And then all the blush is still on. Look at this one. The bronzer and blush is still on. Um, the concealer here is okay, but here it's peeking through. And I don't think the coverage is from BB cream. I think it's from the concealer. And the concealer did a really good job too. Wow, this is like, I review four products and then three are good. Wow, this almost never happens. These two just winning. If you have oily skin like me, you love this one. So this is all the review for today. I'm, I'm super pleased. I'm super happy about the result. I will review more products from Physician's Formula for my next video. I think it's more about the eyes area. So if you're interested, stay tuned and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.